The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. My name is Daryl Martin. I'm your host right here on TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to us anywhere on your mobile phone at TFNN.MOBI. Well, right now, we got the S&P. It's sort of flat. A lot of flat going on. Um, it's uh, up about a dollar. Uh, the Russell, uh, pretty much flat on the day, unchanged. We got the NASDAQ is down six points. We have the Dow up 29 points. Uh, copper is currently up, uh, let's see, about uh, 1% on the day. Looking over at gold, it is down three quarters of a percent. We got silver is down about half percent, and natural gas is up 1.7. Oil is up a buck 25. Um, corn is up a buck. Uh, actually, not yeah. So it's oil is up. It's actually sitting right at. I mean, like right, 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 right at the top of its uh, deviation move on the day. So right here, uh, this might be a little bit difficult to see. I may bring up a different chart for you. Let me go over here and there we go. Uh, this will be a little bit easier. To view. And um, so once that chart populates up, I just want you to be able to, I know it's a little bit dark right there, so it can be a, tough to see it. And pull that one off, put that one up. And we can see quite a bit. That's, uh, let me just zoom out. And you can see it's moved up, 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 but we moved right to what? One deviation. That's where we've been sitting, right at one deviation. A lot of the markets, you know, we when they hit that one, they just stop. And they just chill out. And it's like it's sort of one to push up, sort of one to push down. The market literally cannot make up its mind at the moment. And, I mean, it's been giving down signals, up signals, down signals, up signals the entire time. Um, and let's see here. Go over here on my... Volume. Let's pull that up. See where we're at right now. And okay, there we go. Um, so the screen share ought to be coming through. And yeah, volume is really, really pathetically low at the moment. We're not seeing a whole lot. And look, I mean, you just see this oscillation up and down, five, ten ticks. This is what you call butterfly territory, okay? So you hop in there, like an hour left expiration on the clock, and you just you grab some premium. Um, a way to do that, I don't know if you've done that before, but you go in and, I mean, it's, it depends on how tight you want to take it. But, I mean, there's, right now, you're talking like a 101.60 by a 101.40 would be one way to do it. And let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so if we were going to go over here, and we're going to go over here, sell that one, buy this one, then what would you make? Well, you can make $60 if it stays inside the range, and it's right in the middle. So you'd really be pushing that 10140. 10160 is probably pretty solid, because that really would be a new high on the, be like expiring out of the new high on the day. So out of all of them, you know, that one looks like it might be best. Uh, but we're on a new hour, new volumes kicking in, and, you know, trends starting to push back up again. Um, so, you know, step-by-step, piece-by-piece, it piece, looks like it, it might be able to break out. But I, I'd honestly be a bit shocked because it it's been trying to do that for about two or three hours. So if you were to do this trade, like I said, you'd get 30 bucks on one side, you get 30 bucks on the other side. Well, if you get 30 and 30, that's 60. That makes your risk 40. That's a one-to-one -one trade if it expires in the next 20 minutes within that zone. Okay? 
And so the next thing I'm going to look at, if I'm looking at that as a consideration, cause if I'm going to do that trade, that means I'm going to leave it on and I'm not going to use a stop. Okay, that'd be how I'd have to do that trade if I was going to do it. So my next concern is going to be, well, what is the average close to close? Because, okay, I understand there's going to be some volatility and I understand over the next hour that uh, my expectation high to low um, is going to be right about, you know, as much as 38 pips high to low. Um, my close to close is about 20, and I'm basically sitting at the same price. So, you know, uh, the one thing we do have is volume is dramatically lower, and the last like 20 minutes on oil. But oil can get crazy into the close. So um, I think I sit back. I, just, I had the chart up. We were talking about it. We saw the one percent. And I'm going to sit back on this one for at least a couple of minutes. I just want to sort of see if we're if it just keeps playing this oscillation game. And I, uh, I'm going to go in and grab a couple of those. So, um, but I mean, it's it's a great risk reward butterfly. You're going in, you're getting like I said, 60 bucks for a 40 dollar risk on a market that has done nothing for the past two hours or hour and a half. So, and you're right at the one deviation level. So basically, it's just a uh, it's a very solid oscillation point. Uh, and, I mean, oils, it's up there. It's $101 right now, you know. So it's uh, definitely been climbing. So, yeah, uh, so if you're repeating that trade, that's 101.60 and uh, buying the 101.40, okay. And right now, just to give you a you know, live quote on those contracts, what you get, get them for, the 101.60 you could actually sell. For thirty-four dollars, okay. And let's see here, the um, one hundred one forty. You could buy right now for about seventy-five. And you got about twenty-seven, not even twenty-seven, seventeen. So you get 27 going in, and then to 2 o'clock, and then it's 46. So, yeah, 46 minutes, $60. That's not a bad premium uh, for that kind of you know time with, if the market just keeps doing what it's doing. So you just got to watch it. And uh, the other thing I like about this is that the expected range shrunk, got smaller. So it's been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We had a bigger expected move. And even during our hour, like our, t our 11 to 12 hour, which was our big expected hour, nothing happened at all. Um, so you can see, like right here, just nothing going on, and we had really all, our move, like all the orders, they all happened last night. Like unless you were up and trading early, you know, you didn't get any of that. And uh, Nadex is open at that time, but you, oh, basically all you have is daily contracts. So if you throw in some dailies, uh, you're a pretty happy camper at the moment. Okay, so we got that one going on. We'll uh, we'll check back on it in a little bit. And with the risk reward balanced out the way it is, it's not really going to benefit you to try to manage the risk on the trade. So um, you're going to probably cause yourself more harm than good. So you manage your risk by controlling your size. And that really is the real way you manage risk. Um, it's, it's your size. It's your position size. Obviously, it's where your stops are. Well, with Nadex, you don't have to worry about that because you know, your trade is your stop, um, depending upon what tra you know strategy you're doing. So, if you're going directionally one side in the money, then yeah, you need to you know keep that thing in check. But otherwise, you got to be okay. Uh, and so, let's see, yeah, they're actually inflating premium right now. That's interesting. Um, so. How do I do the math on this? How do you do a math on a butterfly? Because I haven't done a butterfly in a long time on the show. And so I want to go through the math with you while I have it up. And we'll walk through it step by step. Okay? So right here, what we do is we go, okay, oil is currently trading at basically 101.50. Okay, we'll bring that down here. And then the next thing we're going to go into is the strike above it and the strike below it. Okay, so you're basically saying it'll stay above this price and below, you know, this price. 
on the trade that you're doing. Okay, so right here we go in, and what are the two strikes that we chose? We uh, got the 101.40s, okay, which is down here. And we got the 101.60s, which are up here at this high. And on this, if we go in and go, okay, you know, breaking down the binary, the uh, one that we bought, which means really we're saying, you know, buy means greater than, okay? Sell means less than or equal to. So right there on the 10160, uh, we bought it for 30, sorry, 75 dollars. Okay. So 101, yeah. Okay. So we went and we bought the uh, sorry the 10140 for 75 dollars. So 75 bucks right there, and all binaries are worth 100 bucks. So I can go here and I can basically say, okay, this is my risk. If that's my risk, my profit potential on this trade is $25. Pretty simple. Okay? And then on the sell, whatever price I sell at is my profit potential. So if I sold for $36, then $100 minus $36, which would be $70.64. Okay? And so there's my risk on that side, my profit on that side. And now the total profit I can make is sixty-one bucks. Um, but it would be incorrect to assume that my total loss could be one thirty-nine because that's not accurate. Okay, the market cannot expire both above and below. 101.40 and 101.60 in the exact same hour. Okay? So if it can't expire both above it and below it, then what does that mean? Well, it's going to either expire above this one, okay? It may also expire above this one. Or it may expire equal or below that one, and maybe even below that one. So if it expired right in the middle of the two, that's where we're going to get our max profit. We come back and talk about what our max risk is, and it's a lot less than 139 bucks. I'll show you how we put that together for a binary butterfly, a range-bound trade during flat markets. There, there. We'll be right back after this break. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so we're just going through, again, this trade step by step and walking you through it and letting you see the risk reward model the idea the concept this is when you think the market's just going to be flat okay and if you look at like you know the you know a little period of time here you pretty much got that so you can measure you know just look at these hours let's we'll see what kind of range we really got just do a you know manual measurement of range you know so right there i mean we got like nothing so you know about 30 ticks that's high to low but what really mattered to me again What's going to matter on a butterfly? This is, uh, if you get this concept, one of the biggest edges, okay, for all you guys out there in the den in the pit, okay, of the close to close, of understanding that measurement, that is where your butterfly strategies are going to come into place, okay? So, for example, let me grab this right here sort of shrink everything, get it all out of the way. I can really just zone in on the chart. And once you have that close to close measurement down, then you're able to go, hey, do I have, is there a realistic expectation this will happen? Um, will it pull back? Because like the market moves up 20 pips. 20 ticks, 
and when it moves up 20 ticks and my closure closes only 10 ticks, I expect a 10 tick pullback. Okay? That's one way to use it. Another way to use that close to close measurement is let's say it runs up 40 ticks and my expectation was 20 ticks. Okay? And then let's say my close to close expectation was 10 ticks. You might want to think about not thinking it's going to go all the way back to 10 ticks because you broke the expectation by 20 ticks. If you broke the expectation by 20 ticks, probably should go and add 20 to that close to close. So probably still a 10 tick move back. And so when I look at it, what I'll do is I'll just look at that, what that expectation is, and I'll go, okay, so it's about 20. That's about what I'm looking at uh, potentially on the trade. And the next thing I'm going to look at with that is I'm going to go, am I hitting that? Okay. So what's been happening over the last several hours? You know, there's been these moves, things going on. What am I? What What are my results? Um, and what I'm seeing right here, you know, we got about 20 the last hour. Um, we got and right now we're at what are we at right now? We're at about 15, 15 ticks on the hour. Okay, we moved up about 16 so far. So if we moved up just like three or four more ticks, we'd actually be like right at the expected close to close. And all the market's been doing all day is just oscillating. So I would not be surprised. You know, we'll see what happens. The market likes to make a fool out of you. But I would not be surprised if the market maybe like went up here, maybe close to this high around maybe 101.65, 101.70. Okay, I'd say 65 is a little more realistic um, just based on the volume activity I'm seeing right now. And then... Pulled back down, we end up getting like a five or ten tick close on the day. Okay? So, when you put all those pieces together, then you can start going, okay, well, you bet it's all about having proper expectations, playing those probabilities. And you can put these trades on and you can butterfly all day long. Um, one of the strategies I'm really excited about, I'm going to really start looking at is daily butterflies based on expected moves. I haven't, you know, I haven't really spent a lot of time on it. And, it's not that it's going to be a killer move, killer profit. You can even do these things on weeklies. Uh, you don't make any more money on a weekly than you do on a daily than you do on an hourly, but, I mean, they're really wide, okay? And you just, you know, you go in and you look at, you know, how far does the market move on any given day? Uh, and I got it breaking down. I, I literally have it broken down by every single day of the week, every single day of the month, and, you know, monitoring that, Um and using like the deviation levels with that, using the expectations with that, and a lot of times the expectations will come in smaller. And you know, when there's that divergence, that's where there can definitely be some you know really cool profit opportunities. Um, but essentially, if I go back over here and I grab the Excel sheet on the trade that we got going, okay, we zoom it in, then what we're going to see on this is. Okay, our profit potential, okay, was sixty-one dollars. Right, that was our max profit potential. But what is our risk on the trade? We still didn't wrap that up. So come back. I'm going to show you what your real risk is on the trade, and it's a uh, pretty sweet for doing like an iron condor, iron butterfly type thing. All right, we'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Andy Hecht will be hosting his first paid workshop on TFNN, The Technomental Trading Method, which is taking place Friday, March 28th from noon till 3.30 Eastern Time. Relying on his decades of experience as a professional commodities trader for some of the largest and most well-respected firms in the business, Andy will be teaching for three full hours discussing the application of the technomentals he uses when trading commodities, futures, inter- and intra-commodity spreads, commodity-related stocks, ETFs and ETNs, and related options and much more you'll receive an added bonus of a quick reference guide that andy has put together for everyone that attends that breaks down the u.s traded commodity based etf and etn products available to you as a trader the techno mental trading method friday march 28th from noon till 3 30 eastern time this workshop will be archived so that if you can't attend live you can view it whenever you'd like on demand for 30 days for all the details and to reserve your spot today visit the front page of tfnn.com Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, so come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so just uh, putting on the binary right here. And uh, let's uh, figure out what our risk is on the trade. Now, remember what we said is you cannot lose on both sides at the same time unless you use a stop loss, okay? So you could do that, and it's not always horrible if they're far enough wide, but I, I ruin them far apart. And a lot of times when I'm doing that, I'm doing like a buy at 15, and I'm doing like a sell at 85. My probability is really high. And uh, if it comes down, I made 15, I lost 35, I lost $15. So it's, it's you know, it's it's to give me like that one-to-one, -one, but a really wide butterfly, okay? Um, and right here, we're going to go in. And we're going to say if it flies up above 101.60, okay, then we're going to make 25, but we're going to lose. We can only lose on one side, okay? So we sold the 101.60, $39. If it flies down below 101.40, okay, again, we can only lose on one side. We cannot lose on both sides. It's not like a strangle where you can lose on both sides. 
So we have a $39 risk on both sides of the trade. Either side of the trade, we can lose 39 bucks. Stays in the middle, we can make 61. That's a 150% return on a market that you don't need a stop loss on, doesn't have to move, and it can basically oscillate up and down 10 ticks, and you can capture some profit. You don't even have to hold the thing all the way till expiration. You can, but I mean, look, I mean, your return is good at $61. So you could even give up part of that profit. I mean, if you brought that thing down to 40, what would that mean you need to make? You need to make 20 here. And 20 here, right? Or you know, vice versa, whatever. And figure out the balance. But you don't even have to make a whole profit. You pull the thing off at one to one. Why, why would you give up? Why would you give that money? Why would you take just a one to one on this trade? Well, you close it out. You make a hundred percent. You can't lose because you close the trade. Um. So let's see where. Like right now, it's just flat. Just nothing's happening. Like I'm up on 15 on one side. I'm down 15 on another side. You know, it's just basically nothing's happening at all. Uh, and I bought at 36. It's at like 35.50. You know, I bought at 75 on one side. It's at 74.50. So, um, you know, we'll see where it goes. Now, what would happen? And this is a, a really cool thing to look at. I want to show you this. If I can pull it up over here. And I think this is one of the most powerful things when you start getting this. One, you just saw, I mean, a risk model where we have a neutral strategy, which usually neutral premium collection is associated with higher risk. This is a neutral strategy giving you a high probability trade, okay? Because if you buy at $75, what that means is there is a 75% probability that that trade is going to expire in the money. If you sell at $64, I mean, there is a 64% probability that that trade is going to expire in the money. Okay? Well, that's two high probability trades that should actually cost, like, not give me a good risk-reward model, but when I put the two together, then that's when it really starts adding up. Okay? And so if we go over here, we look at this. And uh, I want to check something to see something over here. Do some math for us real quick. Oh right, yeah, so yeah, 156 percent return. And basically, if we combine both of them together, okay, if we combine the two probabilities together, we get 139 percent. So I'm actually bringing in a probability. I'm, I'm bringing in a profit that's greater than my probability on the trade. And when you when you go to a hundred dollars, your probabilities get really easy, okay? Because you know every binary is worth a hundred bucks. And um, and what do I mean by they get really easy? Basically, look at it this way, okay? If the price of a binary means, or is at least reflective of, you know the probability of expiring in the money, then if you have a 70% probability here and you have a 30, uh, then basically what that means you're going to make $30 when you profit, you're going to lose $70 when you lose, okay? So if I take that and I go, okay, well, but I'm going to win 70% of the time. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and say over 100 trades, you win 70% of the time and here, which means you lose, you know, just 30% of the time. Then we do that math, and you make 2100, you lose 2100, and make a whole lot of nothing, okay? So you're not making anything on this, and that's actually best case. That's assuming you always got the 30 and the $70 fill, which we know isn't going to happen, okay? And there's also uh, that pesky thing called fees. So now you got like equals 100 times basically a buck eighty. Okay, well let's say a buck eighty on one side, right? And then you got equals a hundred contracts times point ninety, you know, the hundred on the other side that lost. I guess that wouldn't be a hundred, would it be what thirty lost. So we're gonna do thirty times ninety and seventy times a buck eighty. And the where where am I getting this buck eighty number from? Uh 
90 cents a side on Nadex. 90 cents in, 90 cents out. Okay? And it caps at nine bucks though. So if you start doing 10, 20, 100 contracts, that's when your fees start getting really, you really start noticing that massive difference um, in your fees. And, and that thing is you don't have to go sign like a high volume exchange waiver to get that discount. It's just, it's everybody gets access to it. 10 or more contracts, that's what it costs. Okay? Um, nine bucks flat. And so now you're down 153 bucks because you got fees, even though you're right 70 percent of the time. And this is why you don't hold. This is why you don't hold until expiration. So if you hold till expiration, you're just asking to get hit. Okay. Uh, now I'm talking about a 70-30 trade. If you flip it around, you go. Well, what if I could make? So let's look at this. Okay. What if instead, when I lost, I lost how much? $39. Okay. And I made $61. And let's just say we kept that 70% probability going. And I think you have a higher, because I mean, you got 75% on one side, 65% on the other. The disadvantage is that sort of bounces out. Like you can say 75 plus 65 divided by 2 is 70. Okay. Because um, that's 150. Or one, what is that? 140? Yeah, 140. So it's 140 divided by 2 is 70. And the problem is, yeah, it, it may expire in the money, but it could have flown up and the other one expired out of the money or could have, you know, vice versa. So just to balance it out, we'll keep the 70 even though it's higher. Um, your net result is you end up losing 1170 because your risk was under control. You made 61 bucks, but you made it 70 times. You netted out 29.47 over a hundred trades okay that's not too shabby and that's that's doing I'm talking about single contract trades I'm not talking about you're just going in and you know throwing your life savings away and a hundred trades sounds like a lot okay but if you want probabilities as a trader this is a fact and I'm going to be doing um, I'm working on this little series uh, that I want to put together where I'm going to teach about you know like the four levels of learning um, as a trader, I'm going to talk about the four personalities of a trader, um, and I want to go into the, I guess, really mastering the concept of probability and risk management as a trader. So a lot of just you know, trader focused things. Of course, you know, obviously I'm trading Nadex, but just to make sure that you're really getting down those important important lessons, and that you get the fact that. A trader has to have volume to have probability work in their favor. Now, I don't mean they have to trade 100 contracts like at once. But if you trade a random trade here and there, if you don't trade a system consistently, you break the probability model. And, I mean, this can be proven like time and time and time again. Um, I was out in uh, New York, and uh, Tom Sosnoff was out there, and he was talking, and uh, you know, he's always fun to listen to. And um, he was going into just the probabilities. And he was talking about traders who, uh, he gave me the presentation, asked him for it. And so we're going to go, th we may go through some of this on here. But he talked about the stats of, tra you know, traders who trade this often, make this much. Here we go. That's what I want. Uh, So right there, you know, 3% of their portfolio, 1,000 trades. These traders made money, okay? And then right here, 25% of the portfolio was put in the trades. Um, they over-risked, okay? They didn't place that many trades. They didn't do a good job. They, only 200 trades, they lost everything, okay? Because they were so concerned about making money and maximizing every trade, they lost it all. They had like these big ups and then downs and back ups and then down, and they just, uh, they just die off, okay? And then you got ones who go in, and they're really disciplined. I only risked 3% a trade, but they only did 50 trades over the course of a year, and they, I mean, they, they edged out a profit, okay? But it was basically, they were at the same place, like, you know, they got 1,000, and then they're up 1,050, and then they're down like 950, and then they're up 1,050. It's like their account can't seem to go anywhere, okay? So if that sounds like you, then that's what he was talking about it. Notice both of these, okay, this is somebody who just goes balls to the wall stupid. And they put 25% of their account in. 
And that may sound funny, but you know you can open an account at Natick stuff. Hundred dollars, twenty five dollar trade. That's you. So five hundred dollars, you put a hundred bucks in a trade. That's that's what you're doing. Um, so twenty five percent of the account balance going right into the trade, gonna wipe them out. But three percent of the account balance, and again three percent of the account balance, but not trading often. Notice the equity curve from the consistency and from taking advantage of the probabilities and allowing probabilities to you know work in your favor. Um, and that's sort of what you want to learn to do as a trader. And so if we're going over here and we're applying this to butterflies, okay? Where we have that, you know, 70, 80, you know, whatever percent probability trade. For it to really work for you, it can't be like, hey, I had a good butterfly today. <laughs> you know, I threw a butterfly on. And it also can't be that you just randomly take every trade because you're trying to have occurrences. But you sit down and you focus and you trade and you knock it out. And uh, now, maybe you trade one time a day, but I mean, you trade, trade, trade. I mean, that's still a couple hundred trades. It's better than the 50, right? Um, maybe you do two or three trades. I mean, I, I can do two, three, four, five trades in an hour. It's easy. Okay, I mean, the, the binaries move fast enough. So, or not at all. <coughs> and you just profit just on the, the lack of movement. Um, and so, if you'll start learning things like these butterflies, I mean, they're, they're beautiful trades. You just sit there when nothing's going on, and paint seems to be drying, okay? And you just basically collect premium. Um, and I, it's that's all you do. You just literally, I mean, we put them on and we just let them flow back and forth. And what you want to do is you actually want to get a point where you start going, okay, what is my profit goal? And this is really important as a trader. Okay, whether it be the butterflies or whatever else. Yeah, I can hold these things to expiration. And if I do, I mean, what will I make on this thing? I don't know. I'll make um. What would that be? $400, okay? Um, I held it all the way to expiration, okay? But um, what I want to look at is, you know, break it down. And um, one thing that's helped me out a lot as a trader is I'll actually, I always look at things in sizes of one, okay? Or, you know, whatever the smallest increment is. And maybe that just comes back from when I, you know, borrowed $3,000 from my wife's teacher retirement savings fund to start becoming a trader, uh, talking about pressure. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 the heaviest money management you ever do, right there. Um, and you know, I, I obviously was doing smaller sizes, and so I just I started out that way. Um, and then you know, it grows up. And I remember a trader telling me, like one of, one of my mentors along the way, is like, always think, you know, in singles is like the. The purpose, the the benefit is like if, if you'll keep your risk management, you'll get stupid. Okay, is you'll like I'll be like I, I could have a hundred contracts on, and if I'm down ten dollars on a contract, I'm thinking I'm down ten dollars. I'm not thinking I'm down a thousand dollars, and it lets my position size grow without my emotions getting tied into it on profit or loss. And uh, anyways, we'll talk about it some more when we get back right after this. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Join David White as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, we're going back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so uh, going into probabilities and... Letting probabilities work in your favor and keeping your risk management in check. And, uh, you know, how do I put this? Risk management in check is not, I, th I think as traders, we lose the focus on what risk management really is about. And that sounds funny, but um, I think we get so caught up in risk management that we think it's about like winning and losing and taking stops. And, yeah, it is. This might not be stupid, but it's really about not over trading your position size. Okay, if you go in and you do too big of a position, then you're going to wipe yourself out. And you're going to do it very, very quickly. Um, and obviously, you obviously don't want that to happen. So, what is the best way for you to handle it? Okay, how how can you do it? What can you do with it? Um, really, the the best way is don't risk too much. Um, know what you know really is an acceptable amount, and stick to that. Stay with it, like all the way. Okay. Um, 
Because if you don't, then what you're going to do is you're going to blow your account out and you're not going to survive. If you risk too much money, what's going to happen is you're going to hop in the trade and then you're going to sweat every single tick. And if you're thinking more about, I hope I don't win, I mean, I hope I don't lose, I hope I win, I hope I don't, you know, versus actually able to sit back and look at the charts, you're going to be a horrible trader. Like, you're just going to do, I mean, I'm not trying to say like, but you're being a horrible trader. You're right. You're really handicapping yourself the entire way. And um, and that's because you risk too much money. Uh, so you just you want to have, like I said, proper risk management um, in all the trades that you do. And, you know, like we got this position on right here. And you want to combine that risk management. And we're, you know, we're doing pretty good. So, like I said, we're up about 250 right now. Um, and... That's where we went in on the crude oil. We bought the 101.40 and we sold the 101.60 in a flat market. And um, yeah, I guess we're 270. So you know we got we'll get a few minutes left. I mean, it ought to suck the premium out of these things. Um, and as a trader, you got to do things like that. You got to figure out how do I put the probabilities in my favor, and how do I control my risk, okay? Again, how do I put the probabilities in my favor and how do I control my risk on the trades that I'm taking? Uh, because you do not control whether or not you win or lose. You know, I'm sorry to, you know, wake you up to that party. Uh, you know, now if you take a profit and you were right, yeah, okay, you won. You know, if you take a loss and it would have been worse, whatever. But I'm saying you, at the end of the day, you don't control it. You don't control what the market's doing, and you just want to take that reality on um, and not, how do I put this, um, not that you have more control than you do and not giving up control to something that you don't. So a lot of times you'll see traders like they'll blame things on systems or this or that or whatever, but reality it's like are they following their rules are they following their risk management and uh, if you put the probabilities in your favor and you manage your risk wisely then uh, you actually are stepping towards becoming a successful trader I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow right here on the diagnostic trading hour and tomorrow morning on the bull bear binary hour David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.